Hello everybody. Hey, today I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about trail cameras. And uh, first of all, I'm not a, one of the big trail camera guys. I do have, uh, I had five of them. Some cheap ones, I think I gave $24 for them. And uh, two of them drowned in the river. But I don't, I don't, I use them not so much for any kind of scouting, just for fun. They're playing, you know, playing with them. And mostly I hunt all public land. And um, so I, I want to tell you my thoughts on trail cameras. And first of all, what I, I put mine in funnels and things like that. I never put them on a feed tree, even I have one time. And uh, I, when I first got them several years ago, I put one on a feed tree about a, two weeks before bow season on a persimmon, actually. The best persimmon I've ever hunted. And uh, it worked out that I couldn't hunt it for the first week or so. I did go back there and kill a doe. But when I pulled the camera, there had on the opening day of bow season, which I had to work, blessed to have a job, there were uh, there was not two hours the entire day from daylight to dark that there wasn't a deer or a hog under that persimmon. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. But I never put them on, um, on food trees, feed trees after that because if the sign's there, I'm going to hunt it. It's really that simple, and I'm not going to put far and scent and go back and check and check and check. I'm just going to go hunt it even in the morning and pull out probably. But I do put them in, if I think it's a good funnel, I'll put them in funnels just to see what comes through. And I have put them on scrapes just to see, and almost 90% of my scrape pictures will be at night, probably more than that, 95%. And, you know, play with them like that. But I don't really use them as a tool for hunting. More or less just a cool to take pictures. It's, it's fun to look at them. But my thoughts on trail cameras are this. If, if you want to use them, that's good. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Especially if you got your own property and you manage a property and you want to shoot just big bucks, you know. You can, you can figure it out like that. You know, at least see what you got. But uh, on public land, my thoughts are, are a little different. I don't mind anybody on public land, you know, if you want to, they're legal here in Georgia. And that was public land where I had that one on the persimmon tree. But uh, if you want to put them out there, that's fine. I put a, I put, and I have nothing against that. Nothing against having trail cameras out. But I put a face, a post on Facebook last year or maybe the year before, I don't remember, talking about trail cameras. And people were saying, oh, you worried about people hunting your spots. I'm not worried at all about people hunting my spots because they're our spots. Y'all may see some smoke here. This is South Georgia Nats. So I got something for them jokes. But y'all, uh, it's, uh, it's not my spots, it's our spots. And what bothers me about the trail camera on public land is, and I'll give you an example. Last year, I, I went to, it was last year I put the post because this was what triggered it. Last year I went to, uh, I had scouted, pre-scouted some persimmons. And so I went to hunt them on that Tuesday and there were three sets of them, probably each one a quarter mile from the other. And those are the only persimmons in that section of the swamp. And they were on fire when I scouted them. So uh, about a week, maybe two weeks after that, I knew they were feeding and it was gonna be good. So I went in there to hunt and I went to the first one, had my stand on my back and everything. I went to the first one that evening about four o'clock and there was a trail camera on it. And I said, uh, well, I mean, somebody may have already hunted this and I don't wanna hunt behind somebody. Nothing to do with them or me, it's to do with pressure already on the animal, right? So I go to the next one, and there's the same exact kind of trail camera on it. I go to the next one, and there's the same exact kind of trail camera on it. That tells me that's probably the same person. So what this guy done is put trail cameras on all them, which is fine, but it bothers me that people think that they own that spot with that trail camera. You don't, it's public land. I was frustrated, and I went back you know, and hunted. I got plenty of places I have picked out to hunt. And it bothered me, so I said, you know, I'm going back down there to hunt that because I, I've killed deer every year. I'm going down there this evening, and this was, you know, two or three evenings later. I went down there and killed a deer on it in front of his trail camera and don't feel bad at all about it. Had he been parked there hunting, had I went by there and seen him in the tree, I would never, ever mess anybody up. But on public land, if you put one of them on a tree, you don't own that land. That, that's my whole reason for this video is to clear that up. People think I don't like trail cameras. I, I don't really use them that much uh, for fun, not really for killing no deer. But uh, I don't mind them. I'm just saying don't think you own a place if you put that trail camera on there because you may see one of my wood arrows zip through one of your does right there because I, I will never go to a spot again 
and turn around and go somewhere else because there's a trail camera there. The trail cameras wasn't there when I scouted the place. And uh, I mean, we're talking, this is probably a 400 acre section in that swamp with three sets of persimmons and the guy, he thinks he owns all that with his cameras. Or I don't know that, he put cameras in there and uh, he may have be just like me and don't care. But some guys will think that they own a place like that. I've seen guys run flags through the swamp and if you go anywhere around that swamp, they mad with you because they think they, they claiming it with them flags. It don't work like that. This is public land. So I, I really do wish they would outlaw trail cameras on public land. I do. Because you can't leave your stand uh, all year. You, you're just supposed to take it out the, a day or so before the hunt and a day or so after the hunt. It has to come out in and out like that. But people will put trail cameras in there and they think they own something. And uh, so there you go. Trail cameras are good. You can, uh, like I said, if you got private land and a lot of guys hunt over corn, it's legal. And uh, they only want to shoot mega bucks. So they'll put the camera there and that really tempting eight point might come in at six, but that humongous 10 comes in at 615. And if they hadn't had the trail camera, they'd have probably shot the eight point. I, I get that. I can understand using the trail camera for something like that on your private land. And I can get people using it, you know, in places on public land. But uh, the, usually the, the hot zone of a feed tree is so narrow in time. I don't, I don't get utilizing a trail camera on it. I mean, simply it's just, I mean, if I go in there and the sign says hunt it, I'm going to hunt it. I don't care what the camera says, but I'm not a trophy hunter. But uh, I just basically wanted to clear this up about the post I had. None of them spots in the swamp are mine. I hunt places, and, and we all may think we have uh, honey hole spots. I guarantee you there's very few of them somebody hadn't hunted besides you on that public land. I go pretty deep sometimes, and it's, it ain't comfortable for people to hunt where I hunt sometimes, and, and I never have any trouble. I, hunt, I worked on the weekends, so I hunt during the week, and I've never had to go somewhere else because of a person. The trail cameras made me move one time, but that'll never happen again. So uh, just my thoughts on the trail camera. You know, like I said, we think that we have that spot and nobody knows about it. It rem reminds me of, uh, I worked weekends for years and they moved me to uh, the first shift, working during the week one time. And so I went to the river, going to go fishing that Saturday and I never seen so many trucks and every one of them jokers was out there fishing in my spots. <laughs> So uh, you may think you got some honey holes, that's, but there's a lot of people hunting them. But anyway, that said, about this may not be what you want to hear about trail cameras. You may be wanting to hear how to use them to to really help you hunting out. This is not about that. This is basically to tell you on public land, put a trail camera there if you want to, but that don't give you the deed to the property. Don't be mad if somebody comes in there and hunts because it's ours, not yours. It's not mine. It's our land. So... Uh, you know, I've never had problems with anybody stealing anything. This trail camera here, I was wanting to show this. This is the, how hard up I am on trail cameras. I think I gave $24 for this three or five years ago. I bought five of them. And I did some horse trading and had extra money and bought five trail cameras because that was the big thing back then. They you know, hadn't been long, really got popular. And uh, it was really cool though, looking at the pictures, but I, I don't use them for a hunting tool much. You can put them in a funnel though, like I said, and maybe get a line on something. But as I get older, you know, I hunt with a longbow because I like to hunt. And I like to shoot stuff too. But I mean, I got, I got a lot of guns. I got this and that, and I've been gonna shoot a deer with a pistol, but I always come out of the house with that bow because that's what I love. I like playing the game. I like reading sign. I like all that stuff, and uh, it's almost like I'm cheating if I do it any other way. So, uh, you know, I got three of these left. I'll put them in funnels. I like to put them in scrapes and pour all kind of different, uh, you know, after the season, I'll put pour all kind of scent out there on the ground just to see what it does. And so far, I ain't seen a scent yet that I can say was worth hunting over. But uh, anyway, my thoughts on trail cameras. Y'all uh, don't be mad with me if I hurt your feelings about it. It is what it is. And uh, it's really hot right here. I'm sure it's hot everywhere. Y'all stay hydrated. Take care of yourself. Thank you, good Lord, for a fine day. And uh, it won't be long. I did a little little bit of looking yesterday and, and 
check per, uh, check persimmons, uh, white oaks, and chestnuts or few trees. It looks like we're gonna have, if we can get some rain, they don't all shed. Maybe we'll have a good productive season. We'll get started doing some serious scouting here come August 15th. We'll be doing some pig hunting, but I wanna, I would really like to take y'all along with me and um, we for scout from. I mean, we'll we'll name a few trees and I'll actually show them where you can recognize them. You know, when you see them again, and we'll go back and and. Uh, bring some meat home off of them trees. Lord willing, of course. So, uh, y'all keep the good Lord first. Smile, try to make people happy around you. Life is good. See y'all next time.